My name is Glory Jaramillo. I was diagnosed in February 2014. My first symptoms was uh, my hands. I would be holding something in my hands, but I couldn't actually feel that there was an item in my hand, so I would drop it. Like cutting me, um, I actually could not feel the action and um, the fatigue. I knew there was something wrong after the fatigue started getting really bad. Um, it took, I'm gonna say about two years from my symptoms to when I actually got diagnosed, but I think I may have had a, a year before that of some symptoms, but I just blew them off. Scleroderma is affecting my skin, my organs, and my lungs. After I was diagnosed with scleroderma, I kind of felt relief because there was an answer to the pain, the fatigue, the tightness in my skin. Um, when you don't know what's happening, it's kind of scary because all these symptoms came on to me within six months. They were real progressive, real rapid. Um, so once I got diagnosed with scleroderma, it was just finding out where to go from there. Medications, physical therapy, and uh, finding support with other patients like me. The hardest part of scleroderma was losing my identity. Um, before diagnosis, I had just gotten a manager position at a retail shop. I was walking three miles a day, three days a week. At one point, I held two jobs and was going to school. But once the scleroderma started progressing rapidly, um, I couldn't even walk up the stairs to my apartment. I had to quit my job because I could not stand. Um, I couldn't lift a five pound bag and my hands would not be able to get into the register to count out change to customers. Um, I tried very hard to stick with my job, um, but within a few months I, I knew I couldn't do it anymore. So that's, it, it took away a lot of my independence too. I have attended Scleroderma Walk, um, both in Los Angeles and down here in San Diego. I have a great support group here that we meet every other month for two hours on a Saturday. We uh, can ask any questions with each other and uh, compare ourselves, our medications, what's working, what's not working. Um, and most recently, I attended Washington, D.C. with the Scleroderma Foundation uh, to lobby for research funding. Um, I was able to meet other scleroderma, scleroderma. I was able to meet other scleroderma patients from across the country. Um, this has helped me by being able to meet other people like me being able to meet other scleroderma warriors who have gone through or are going through what I'm going through. Since there are very few of us, when you're able to meet somebody who feels the same pains you do, who has the same concerns as you, and you can talk to and know that they understand what I'm going through. Please support the Scleroderma Foundation because we need research for a cure. My name is Glory Haramil, and I have scleroderma. 10,000 Americans die from scleroderma every year. We need a cure. Please help the Scleroderma Foundation and patients like me.